I had some problems. Every time I would get pregnant, um, the, the baby would never go to the uterus where it needed to go to grow and develop. And so my doctor recommended that we would try doing um, the in vitro process to avoid the baby going to the tube and having it placed right in the correct location so the baby can grow and develop. With difficulty getting pregnant due to a tubal cause, there are really two approaches that we can take. One approach that, that we can take is to try and repair or reconstruct the tubes to make them more functional. But in some cases, the tubes are not able to be repaired, and, and in that circumstance, in vitro fertilization or IVF is really the best option. And, and, and Deborah's case, that's the path that we chose. When I initially went to see Dr. Duty, he basically broke down exactly what the process was, and then he also let me know exactly what did I need to do in order to get it started. The IVF process is actually a little bit complicated, and it involves taking a sequence of injectable medications over a period of a few weeks. During that time frame, there would be uh, really numerous visits uh, involved for the purpose of monitoring the response to the fertility medications. Our goal is to transfer one or, or two embryos to achieve a pregnancy, and if there are extra apparently healthy embryos, then we can freeze them and keep them stored for future pregnancy. In, I want to say, November of 2012 is when everything, the process started, the medication, the shots, and everything um, started. Um, and then in December, uh, actually right before Christmas, it was when I got the news that, hey, you are now pregnant. So it was an awesome Christmas gift and a very exciting time. Fortunately, she had a very good response to the fertility drugs uh, and she conceived uh, during the first attempt. And, and we were fortunate enough also to get many uh, extra embryos so that if she desires to come back in a year or two, uh, and then she won't have to go through the whole process. When I say Dr. Dewey is an awesome guy, he really is very patient, very calm. He helps you get over the hump because you always go in, you're nervous, you don't know what to expect, but he makes you feel really at ease at, at doing the whole process.